So recently, Lloyd did a vlog where he went to Tesco, which is a supermarket chain in the UK. One of our biggest ones is Kroger. And that's where we usually go, and he wants a Kroger vlog. So, when one of our friends asks for it, we do it. <laughs> he's just so stone-faced over here. I mean, he's like, no reaction whatsoever. Do something. You see what I'm working with here, folks. The thing about grocery stores here in America is that when you walk in the store, they inundate you with offers right away. Red velvet cake, pumpkin pie, stuff for New Year's because we're doing this right before New Year's. I mean, you, you can't you can't escape a bargain everywhere. Yep, crop pots and cheese dip. Ah, time for produce. Yeah, we're having salad this week. Excuse me. Oh, the tomato selection is just so poor. I hate buying tomatoes this time of year. Yeah. We usually have good local tomatoes. But all you can get is these vine ripened tomatoes. A lot of them, a lot of them are from like greenhouses in Mexico. This is always a challenge. Getting getting the bag open. We always we always love to make a joke about that. The nut butter. It's actually you can freshly uh, grind almond butter and natural peanut butter. And that's not that good. You get nuts and seeds and dried fruit and trail mix and and it seems like every grocery store in America these days has to have a Starbucks in it. Yeah, here's the deli. All sorts of pre-made stuff because people are too lazy to make their own potato salad and macaroni salad and baked beans and whatever. Of course, there's the olive bar. Olives and antipasti. Oh, here's one of my favorite places to look. Uh, the cheese counter. Cheeses of the world. Yeah, cheeses of the world. Look at all this. This is wonderful. That's Gouda. You love to cringe at that joke every time I tell it. It's the wine. We only got in grocery stores recently. Yeah, before like a year and a half, two years ago, whatever, you couldn't buy wine in the grocery store here in Tennessee. You still can't buy it on Sundays or holidays. Right, so better, better buy it tonight because you can't buy it tomorrow or Monday. All right, here's the bakery. With all sorts of nice stuff, cookies galore and pies and... Angel food cake, multicolored cupcakes. Oh. <laughs> Ew, what is this? Brisket. Oh, brisket? No, I was referring to that. Oh. Jowls. Jowls? Ew. That looks disgusting. 
So I remember in Lloyd's vlog that he was trying to find a wine glass. I'm curious to see, we're in the houseware section here, curious to see if they have a wine glass here, just, just for fun. I don't need one, but let's take a look. Let's see here, where would you find a wine glass? Now let's see, no, no, these are all dishes. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Ah, here they are, right here. Yes. I walked right by them. So, uh, you can get a nice one for $3.99, which uh, on, on Lloyd's vlog it was uh, 69p. I don't know what that translates to, currency wise. While we're on the topic of what Lloyd does, I'm at the foreign shelf here and this is all the British stuff imported I think I mean there's stuff here that I wonder does, how can anyone actually eat this stuff like uh, what's one here like this for example the syrup sponge I mean does any does anyone actually eat that I mean it, it doesn't look that good to me I mean what's what's one you wonder about Greg Now come over here. The HP fruity sauce. Like what is this? You know, like what is that? Oh, we've we've had this. Yes, actual honest to God Maltesers. I've actually you can actually get these at Regal and, and Turkey Creek. Actually, actually, I'm gonna buy some of these. <laughs> Heinz doesn't actually make beans in this country, so you have to get it on the European shelf. Yes, but it's two seventy nine for that can of beans imported. And there's Heinz spaghetti. You can't get that in this country either. Or can you? They don't. Well, they don't make that. Except on the European shelf. Right. But it's four nineteen for a can of that down there. Where is it? Down here. So, well, if I'm not blocking the thing. Is it that much different from Chef Boyardee? Yeah, there it is. You know, I don't know. What is this? Butter G? Butter G? That's not, that's not British. No, but... Looks like Hebrew butter. <laughs> Mazel tov. Clarified butter. Clarified butter? It's 11 bucks a jar. It's kosher butter, I guess. Yeah. Thank you. See, now this is what he always does. I get way down the aisle and he just stops and grabs something and he's in stealth mode and I can't hear him. He ends up way back there. That's because you just zoom on and don't pay any attention to him. Well, how am I supposed to know? You stopped. You're behind me. Oh, great. Here we go. Going domestic in the grocery aisles. What else is new? Oh, I've hit an impasse. Help get me out of this situation. <laughs> let us let us tell you about some of the most disgusting products you can get. Okay, Greg, find find a disgusting product up here that you absolutely do not like. Potted meat. What is this? Yeah, what's in that? I mean, read the ingredient list. Mechanically separated chicken, pork, water, salt. Mustard, vinegar, dextrose, sodium, garlic, natural flavor. I mean, bleh. Yes, but even worse than that is, uh, spam. Yeah, spam. Insert your Monty Python jokes here. 
but then there's corned beef. You absolutely hate corned beef. Mm -hmm. No, really? I don't know, but here's something we do need. Oh, yeah. Premium chicken breast. That's good in salad. Yeah, it is good in salad. So, into the, into the basket it goes. Cheese. What's that? I don't think we used any cheese, did we? There are all sorts of stuff here. There's french fries. You can, can you see me? Hi. Hi, I'm, I'm here somewhere in the reflection. You can get these frozen versions of fast food french fries. Yes, like there's Red Robin. It's a popular chain here in America. Arby's Curly Fries. Yeah, Arby's Curly Fries. Steak and Shake Fries. I mean, are, are they all really different from each other? There's Checkers Rallies. We don't even have one of those around here anymore. We're getting, we're getting a Checkers. Where? Kodak. In, oh, in Kodak? Where in Kodak? Or oh, Kodak, well, never mind. We don't need any, but we love pizza snacks. Those are better than the name brand. Yes. Those are the store brand. That's the Totinos are over there, but those are awesome sauce. We usually get cheese sticks too. Yeah, well, thank goodness because it looks like they don't have them. <laughs> and Hot Pockets, the lunch item. Nice. Let me open this door. Pick you inside the cooler. Seventy-five thousand varieties of hot pockets. Okay, Greg, go grab the wieners. <laughs> the same off-color joke every week. Right. Right. Ooh, meat time. Roast prices aren't good. Terrible. We aren't making a roast this week. It's probably chicken then. Time for some beverages. And here's the Diet Mountain Dew. Here's the regular Mountain Dew. Uh oh. Look out, here's the candy aisle. The aisle we need to stay off of because candy is bad, <laughs> but it's so good. The 3,000 varieties of M&Ms. Yeah, I see that. Oh my goodness gracious. Mini M and M's. This is one of my favorites. Hello. <laughs> Still ticking. Here's one of here's one of my favorite varieties: peanut butter M and M's. It's essentially like Reese's Pieces, except M and M's made it. The outer shell is chocolate, and that's not the case with. Reese's Pieces. Right. But here are the Reese's Pieces. Reese's Pieces. Oh, yeah. Josh, here's our Oreo shelf. What'd you say? Who wants thin Oreos, really? 
Red velvet, hello. Cinnamon bun Oreo. Yeah, here, here are the Oreo thins. Who wants a thin Oreo, really? It's one of the crazy ones. Double stuff, oh, that's good. I've had those. Mega stuff. What the heck? Mega stuff Oreos. Yep, that, that's going in the cart. Don't need it, but I'm getting it anyway. Okay. Let's see here what we have in the way of Pringles. Loud Pringles. Memphis barbecue. As opposed to the regular barbecue. Where's dill pickle? Oh, up here. Screaming dill pickle. Of course, I've had salt and vinegar many, many times. Where's there's the pizza ones? Those are mm. staple when I was growing up. Mm. Okay. Buffalo Ranch. I think Lord, you had this one. The Buffalo Ranch ones. I always just like plain cheddar. I always just like cheddar cheese. You know these over here. Uh, here we are. Here are the Cheetos. Oh, look at this. I, Cheetos paws. It's paw shaped. Flaming hot. Cheetos mix ups. The trail mix. Yeah. Parmesan. Double cheddar. <laughs> nacho cheese. Cheddar jalapeno. Crunchy, flaming hot crunchy. And the store brand, which is now that's cheesy. Yep. Okay, so I think we're just about done. You, me, Grr. gosh, that's what I said. Thirty-six dollars. We never spend that low. That's the lowest bill we've had in like months. You know? Where do we think we spent so much? Well, we usually buy meat. We didn't buy any meat. Meat is expensive. But oh well, that's it for now. We're gonna load the groceries in the car and go home. All right. So if you like this video, hit the like button. Right. Yep, subscribe if you haven't already and hit that notification bell and you'll get notified when we upload a new video. And uh, share this channel, share this channel, share this video with your friends, let everyone know that we're here. So, we'll see you soon. Bye everyone.